Shalom, shalom, Israel. This is your boy Genesis Gad, Israel. I'm going to have to skip the intro and get immediately to the point to this Kanika Jenkins individual, but ultimately to her mother. Her mother is a disgusting, trifling whore. Detestable in all ways. And I'm going to give you a clear case and example. If you go into her Facebook page, her Facebook page says, Teresa Hot Chick Martins. That's already a red flag on the very, very beginning. Okay. So, I was mentioned to someone recently that she had a du double mastectomy. She had both her breasts removed because she had, I guess, cancer or whatever the hell she had, tumors or whatever the case was. Okay. I can go with that. Why are you still dressing up as a slut? You're also a mother of multiple children on top of that. Our women, our women really do know how to open their legs whenever they want to, to make more children. Always want to wonder why they have so many children and why their pockets are always flat. They want to know also why does men never want to marry them because they don't. They don't see any value in you. You don't even see value in your damn self. So I'll tell you this much. I'm going to go into the book of Genesis 3. Right quick. I'm going to get 3 and 3. Genesis 3 and 3. But of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. Now, whenever I read about the serpent, this is a clear case in point example that the serpent was not a talking snake so there was no bestiality going on and the woman had sex with that serpent and then a damn half man half lizard was given a <laughs> the freak I don't know what these Christians are teaching that's the reason why you stay away from them because ultimately they have their own agenda but that's not the point of this video the point of this video is to show you how conniving deceiving and backstabbing the so-called black native and Hispanic woman is women are in general but this is how you know the woman the so-called black native or Hispanic woman had a literal a literal instruction to keep given unto her by the Heavenly Father that she went against because she wanted to I'll just I don't want to spoil it but I just want to show you case in point and verse 4 of Genesis 3 and the serpent said unto the woman ye shall not surely die verse 5 and God doth know that in a day ye eat thereof then your eyes shall be opened and ye shall be as God's excuse me God's knowing good and evil and this is verse 6 and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her and he did eat. To this day, what is forbidden fruit to be mentioned as? You should already know that it's a synonym mentioned for sex. Yeah, there is a club that's mentioned it's not really a club it's a bar or a debauchery and it's it's called club forbidden fruit it exists somewhere around here in an undisclosed location in Ohio which which I can never remember because I mean that's the reason why I'm calling it undisclosed What was mentioned in this passage is that she had sex with a literal demon. I would even understand the reason why you would have sex with an angel because at least angels, you know, they give you advice, they help you, and they guide you to the Heavenly Father closer to anybody else ever will. She didn't even do that. She had sex with a demon, bro. And then on top of that, had sex with a man that is to be her husband. Let's proceed. <sighs> Genesis 3 and 7. 
and the eyes of them both were open, and they knew that they were naked. This isn't looking too good for you so-called black women right now. For a long time, you have usurped authority over your black man, and now we see why. Because he was, he was already pre-decided to be your heads. He was already pre-decided to be your leader, to be your lords. With the most high Lord, the most high King, and the most high God being the heavenly father, Yahweh in the Hebrew language, the Hebrew tongue, meaning he exists or he is here. The next time I see a so-called black woman arguing with her black man about how he's not doing anything, I'm going to intervene and call that woman a bitch. Know your fucking place. You have no part in saying what he is and what he should be doing. That is my job, excuse me, as well as the rest of my brothers into these camps to uplift that brother to be the king he is destined to be. That is not your job. You don't raise a goddamn man to be a man or king. Period. And the eyes of them both were open, and they knew they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. Let's go to the book of Ezekiel, chapter 16. I'm going to read from the 21st verse. And I'm going to read down to 23. Now, the 21st verse says this that thou hast slain my children and, and delivered them to cause them to pass through the heat, uh, excuse me, through the fire for them. And verse 22 says, and in all of thine abominations and thy whoredoms. Let me read that again. And in all thine abominations and thy whoredoms. Yeah, our women were whoring back then too. Why is this of no surprise? Why is this is no surprise? Thou hast not remembered the days of thy youth. Yeah, these were the days of thy youth, of our women's youth, that they were doing this. When thou was naked and bare, and was polluted in thy blood, he mentions what our women were doing again. Again, my nigga. <laughs> Let's go to the, to the 23rd verse. And it came to pass after all thy wickedness, woe, woe unto thee, saith the Lord God. Now, whenever you look at the Statue of Liberty of today, this is of a woman, not a man. Back in the time whenever Babylon existed, you know, it was a statue of a woman being aroused, excuse me, not being aroused, but being erected up with the same symbolism that the Statue of Liberty of right now has. Ezekiel 16 and 24 says that thou hast also built unto thee an imminent place and has made thee an high place in every street. Think for yourself, ladies and gentlemen. 25. Thou hast built thy high place at every head of the way and has made thy beauty to be abhorred and hast opened thy feet to every one that passed by and multiplied thy whoredoms.
thou hast built thy high place at every head of the way, and hast made thy beauty to be a poor. Isn't that what the so-called black native or Hispanic women are doing today? But you wanted to be an independent woman, huh? You thought you were equal to the man, huh? You thought you were leaders. I don't see you leading. Period. Oh, you're leading, you all right. You're leading people to death. That's what these hurricanes are coming from. And you're begging us to pray for you? No, we Hebrew brothers and sisters are not. The sisters know their place. They're silent. They're not arguing back. They follow the leadership we have for them. They see the leadership. And they obey that leadership. Thou hast built thy place at every head of the way, and hast made thy beauty to be abhorred, and hast opened thy feet to everyone that passed by. <laughs> open thine feet to everyone that passed by. To open your feet means to also open your legs. Yeah, that's what our women do. That's what Teresa Hot Chick Martin did to give birth to Kanika Jenkins as well as those other children that she has as a photo up, up, up on her Facebook profile. You do find that highly strange though, right? Oh, also, according to the book of Deuteronomy, this is modern day Egypt. We would be sent to Egypt again with ships. Whereof the heavenly father spake unto thee meaning us, the Israelites, the so-called black standards and Hispanics. So I'm going to read that next verse, and that's going to really hit you hard. Let's go further. 26, Ezekiel 16 and 26. Thou hast committed fornication with the Egyptians, thy neighbors, great of flesh, and has increased thy whoredoms to provoke me to anger. Why do you think we are getting hit with 12 consecutive hurricanes, floods, tornadoes, cyclones, maelstroms, tempests, earthquakes, tropical storms, wildfires. This is a sad, sad time for the black native or Hispanic people. I'm thinking that it's really good to see our people have awakened up, have finally decided to embrace a little bit more of their Hebrew, their Hebrew war, uh, excuse me, royalty. Come to find out behind the scenes, the Heavenly Father sees what they're doing and that's the reason why he sent hurricanes. He's like, wait a minute, you dare make a mockery of me? After I literally saw that you were repping Israel, you're still going to proceed to do whatever that you were commanded not to do. Okay. So the Heavenly Father decided this. I'm going to send pestilences. I'm going to send storms. I'm going to send earthquakes and things like that. But it's funny because those women in Texas got a nerve to ask us, on social media networks for our prayers we're not going to pray for you i'm not even going to say sorry for what i said no i'm not going to pray for you and we're the rest of my hebrew brothers and sisters we're not going to pray for you this is god's judgment yahweh's judgment and if you proceed to do this what makes you think i mean like you're asking for prayers from us hoping that we would pray for your safety for you to proceed to do the exact same thing that got your ass whooped the first time see the so-called black native or hispanic women had influence to maintain or excuse me to have power and leadership over the so-called black man for a long time that's the, another reason why i read this scripture back in genesis 3 because she would know what good and evil means and what it is so she can have is, is amount of the same amount of knowledge that the heavenly father has and that she could be equal to the man that's that's bound to be her husband 
that she also proved her unloyalty by having sex with someone else other than her husband. And gave birth to the cane seed. And she, I found already uh, uh, how strange and peculiar it was that she was oblivious to how Cain killed another one of her sons. Did she say anything about it? Nah. She was like, oh, okay. That's cool. Ain't that a bitch. Ain't that a bitch. Bet that's not something that your so-called Christian pastor teaches, teaches you at the Sunday worship church. Were they worshiping the sun on that day? The sun god on that day. They worshiping Tammuz. <laughs> That's the reason why they wear the crucifix cross. That T across their chest. That's the reason why they the real reason why they rocking it. And the Bible also predicts that too. Our people have been shown how, excuse me, let me retract that sentence. My men, meaning my brothers, fathers, uncles, nephews, all of the black men, they had their power usurped by a woman at some point in time because going back to what I previously mentioned in the last video a woman can literally get away with rape of anybody and get away with it in broad daylight let that marinate for a second she can make it seem like she was raped when in fact it was the other way around she forced herself upon that someone else. She can go to her job and literally sexually harass her manager, who just so happened to be a so-called black man, just so she can get the benefits of one, extra pay, two, also a spot in management, three, a higher spot than management, four, for him to discard the wife he already has, for her so she can use him up dry him out for all the resources that so-called black man has so she can this drop him off and take his resources for herself our women are master manipulators man plain and simple this is literal black and black excuse me black on black crime way back when way before the so-called white man ever existed. So yes, black on black crime existed a long, 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 long time ago. It started whenever our women usurped authority over us and wanted to seek our power. This is the reason why the comedic Egyptologist brothers and sisters sometimes it hurts to even call them sisters because they usurp authority over me and over the rest of their brothers so much that they have deemed that the brothers that serve them mean nothing they mean everything without them the brothers mean nothing these are nothing more than just cattle black feminist movement that's exactly what this egyptology madness is it's a black feminist movement and the majority of the brothers that you see in these movements are nothing more than just effeminate themselves they don't defend none of their brothers whenever their brothers are attacked no they don't they can't even lie and say they do they will put their life on the line for a so-called black woman though but whenever a brother is attacked that brother doesn't see the light of day from their friends and, and family and whatever the case is hell no and nobody can show me one video where there is a, a 
a particular mention that 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 Egyptologist comedic priest individual protects a suffering brother in the midst of their society, in the midst of their community. They replaced the nigger mentality with the idolatrous mentality. They have idolized their own women to be higher than the Heavenly Father, who was a so-called black man. Ain't that a bitch. They hate their own selves so much that they esteem their mothers, their sisters, as gods as they are not gods so if they are gods what's the point of the so-called black men why do we exist are we to be slaves under these women if you find out the real intent of these egyptologist heads that's what their their narrative is that's their shtick and that what that's what's going to bring me up to kanika jenkins and her mother. Her mother dresses up like a slut and dresses her daughter up like a slut. So both sluts, as disgusting as it is for me to say that, but it's not as disgusting as the people committing the sluttiness. Those ways of dressing was never applied to the so-called black woman in the early years of our enslavement, especially in the cotton fields. That was whenever we had the mentality to just survive, to dress in modesty because we would be ravaged if we didn't. But that's the black name for Hispanic woman in a nutshell today. And going back to the book of Genesis, she's been doing it, so I mean, you see what you see, you get what you get. So, as Tommy Sotomayor, brother Tommy Sotomayor, has touched on, we have the worst choices of women on the planet, and we really do. And we're going to proceed to if they do not understand their position and place underneath the rulership, which is that of the so-called black men. Shalom.